So yep. it's been uh, a little over a, a month here, and, yep. and and I mean, as you walk in today, we we find out that there's you know there's still some kind of weird cloud hanging over the death of the beloved Bob. Yeah, yeah, which I'm tr trying not to think about. I think um, you know. It's always the inquiry of people in the press, and it's like I, everyone just needs to remember Bob, right, for who he is, and just what let do you the do? Like, for example, I'm a member of the press. I also yeah. loved Bob Saget. I, yeah. I had him on my live yeah. show um, tons of times, yeah. and I want to. I will remember Bob the way yeah. Bob was, and yet there's this weird confusion. Do we keep going? Because the family says, "No, you respect the family's privacy. Please leave it. You do." Yeah, as someone really close to it, it's like there's n there's nothing there's nothing more to know. There really is. The isn't. police say no foul. No foul play. So it's like let let everyone just let him rest in peace and let the family have their their own dignity, um, and 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 mental stability. What is your lasting impression? Like when you think of Bob, what do you think of? Oh, I um. Is it a joke? Is it uh, is it it's a smile? Is it? It's all of it. It's it's the joke. It's the hug, because he would always just nestle into your shoulder. Anyone he hugged, he would just go down and hug. Always a laugh. Always a laugh. I bet there were some beautiful silver lining moments with Dave and John and Wright and Lori and every Jody, yeah. everybody. Yeah. Um, yeah, these last few weeks, we've all spent a lot of time together, and we're all very close. But it's been it's been really special the time that we've been spending recently because there's even something different to it because we now we're just like constantly we just appreciate being around one another and it you know you never know when the day is going to be that um, someone else might be gone so you just want to live in that moment. What do you take from the passing of Bob Saget going forward? Oh, what I take is a lifetime of memories that are wonderful and beautiful, and then I tell people how much I love them, and I remember to hug everyone. You're getting a big hug after I leave, after this interview. I'm just, war I'm warning you, and a nestle. I have friends who were at the funeral and, and the reception, and mm -hmm. uh, from what I understand, it was beautiful and solemn mm -hmm. and, and a religious ceremony um, at Forest Lawn. Mm -hmm. And then it got to Jeff Franklin's house and some wonderful things happened. John Mayer got up. <laughs> I hear Chappelle did about 45 minutes mm -hmm. of stand-up. He did. I, I don't think that mic was empty for four hours. It was just one person after another talking. And um, I, of course, as the faith-based person, offered the prayer. Yeah. <laughs> I had to, like, Let bring it down. This. And I was like, <laughs> there are two really great Jewish people that I've known in my life. One was Jesus. I mean, I still know him. Not personally. The other is Bob Saget. Yes. We were talking about faith. I see your new tattoo. Oh. When you show it to me. Yes. <laughs> I have something cool for you. What? Look at you and me. Hey. I love it. I love it. I love Let's it. Let's Wonder Twin Powers activate. <laughs> <laughs> that not that cool? How long ago did you get that? Just a few weeks ago. Yeah. Is it Bob inspired? Is it life inspired? Is what? Uh, Why? It's a it, it's a few th a few things I'll keep personal to myself, but but really this is the cross. This is a cross. So this is all about Jesus. Now, if your daughter Natasha mm -hmm. says I'm getting a tattoo, what do you say? Because my daughters have done this to me. Oh, I I'll be honest. I actually asked if she'd like to get one with me, and she said, no, I'd never get a tattoo. Really? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, oh, mm. I'm that mom. And you have filmed with, you just filmed with her. Yes. Aurora Tea Garden Mysteries. Yes. Great or never again? Oh, great. Oh, good. Great. Fantastic. Natasha's a wonderful actress. I actually was like, will you please be in my movie? And will you play the young version of Aurora Tea Garden? So wow. there's flashback scenes. And she was like, of course I will. And it was great. And she's playing the character I've already established. So there was a lot of uh, questions and talking. And she was asking, like, mom, you know, how would Aurora say this? How would she think about this or move in this way? Because Aurora solves 
unsolved crimes. And she models for, for your QVC <laughs> line, does. doesn't she? Sounds She's like she, listen, I, Natasha's- She'll be done with you incredible, soon. incredible, <laughs> yes, a, an incredible daughter that she does this for me. Um, she does model, I don't even have to pay her, but she does a lot of favors for me, but she's got, she's got her own career and does quite well. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.